Hey everybody, we are here finally getting to an emotionally distressing game like I know you all know and love <laughs> <laughs> from this channel. Oh, Paul, yeah, are you are... tired of smiling too much from last week? Well, get ready. Right. We're going in different directions. We're going we're going back to our roots of our mm. emotionally stressful um game. So this is Tell Me Why. Uh if you haven't played Tell Me Why, this is just a short summary. This is a don't nod game. So the same people that created Life is Strange 1 and 2, um, amongst many others. Um, this game has has unfortunately gotten, you know, compared as with all of their games to Life is Strange. It's a similar situation where there's, you know, trauma and emotions and a good story and also some kind of powers situation. Um, but aside from that, it is... It is just its own game, you know? And so while, of course, um, you know, on our, our rating scale, I compare everything to Life is Strange, as we know, we shouldn't compare this to Life is Strange uh, as far as is this a better game or not. It's its own unique game. Um, I feel like I feel like Don't Nod, I feel like that maybe the creators of Don't Nod played a lot of first-person shooters and were like, <laughs> this is so violent. But you know what, guys? We should focus on different types of trauma than shooting <laughs> and bombs. What about well, the internal emotional trauma? And they're like, let's create a company called Don't Nod and let's do this. Let's do this. And maybe so. this one involves some of the things Paul just mentioned within the trauma, but we won't get to that until we watch it. So uh, that kind of leads It's a Don't into... Nod game, baby. It's all going to be emotional trauma. <laughs> it's all emotional trauma. So I will say um, there are some, some warnings that, uh, some trigger warnings. I do not have my trigger warning graphic that I pop up, unfortunately. Um, I it was I completely forgot to, uh, I'll have it for next time. Um, you might not even need it next time, honestly, but I'll tell you mm. what those triggers are. And Paul, if, if you're not okay with any of these things, we will just cancel the live stream right now. Um, it is up to you, okay? It's okay, up great. to you. This is good to, I'm glad we're doing this right now. Okay. Yes, right now. This is a perfect time. So this game has a lot, like we said, there's some family, some pretty intense emotional family trauma going on. Um, okay. And I, I just, it's pretty intense. Um, it has, it deals with mental health that is not necessarily blatant and just out there, but it's very clear that there are some, some challenges that are happening. Um, unlabeled, uh, you know, but like, related to being able to care for children and things like that. So uh, okay. that's a that's a hot topic for, for me, I know. Um, anything that, that affects kids is a big one. Um, and then on, you know, typically in, in um, these don't have games, or, or rather I should say in the Life is Strange series, um, there's some romance that can happen. Um, this one does have a romance potential. That's not a trigger warning, but unfortunately you only get one option. You don't get to choose, oh. you know, between someone else, but, but just so you know, um, with that, it's also important to note that this has to do with transgender, um, I guess, situations, um, which you'll okay. see pretty clear in the beginning. Um, so mm -hmm. in the audience, in the chat, if that is not your cup of tea, then get out of here. Cause this is... <laughs> This is a totally safe place for all of that discussion. So definitely not into any um, derogatory comments in the chat or anything like that. That's that's not this isn't the place to be, in other words. Um, okay. So super excited. So, Paul, any of those things an issue for you? Should we cancel the live stream now? And I and I say that with a smile on my face. But like, really, are you OK with that? <laughs> no, no. Um... And I, and I feel weird smiling and laughing at that moment because you just mentioned all these things. All no, these horrible I am, things. I am. It's weird to say this. I'm great with all of them. I don't mean I'm great with all of them, but great. you know what I mean. Yeah. I'm okay. Let's let's explore this. Let's yeah. explore. Let's do it. Yeah. Um. So also, I want to say too. I keep wanting to say things. If you've noticed, um, this is definitely. Well, I shouldn't say definitely, but I think it's a little bit of a slower paced game than than a Life is Strange game where there's a there's there's not like action but there's like always something going on. This is definitely more subtle in my opinion. Um there's okay. not a lot of like in your face stuff. Like for example in the transgender situation, it's not like, you know, he meets a guy and the guy's like, "What are you?" No, no, no. Like very stereotypical type stuff. No. It's okay. a person that might like feel internally uncomfortable or unsure how to act. And that's obvious in the conversation, but it's not this blatant thing in your face. I love that. It's real to me. <laughs> yeah. And I think 
Zachary said the most important thing and the thing that makes me the most excited to play this game. Paul can't kill any oh, character. Oh, oh, let's I see that comment. Zachary. Oh, oh, it's so tiny. Oh, you're so such a little tiny comment. Hold on, I gotta fix that. Yeah, it's that is true. That is oh true. Um people will perhaps have fatal consequences, but it will not be at the hands oh. of you. <laughs> Okay. You can't so make can... poor choices, though, Paul. <laughs> sure. Well, welcome to my life. Yeah, so, exa exactly. <laughs> I'm ready for it. Yeah, ready so for it. so that's a great segue. Um, there are some chat commands you can do in the description below if you want to know different chat commands and things you can do um, and how you can sort of earn points here. Um, mm -hmm. How to use those points. We have removed the wig um, and the pickup lines from this particular stream. It just doesn't seem appropriate for this emotional situation of a game. Yeah, now um, yeah. we haven't replaced it with anything. Um, no. But we're but open there, to ideas. We I are would open say. to ideas. Yes, yeah. definitely. Um, but there are definitely a lot of situations where Paul will have to figure out what to do. And, you know, for the most part, I know the answers. And I'll be sitting here, like, waiting for him to do it. So if you want me to take control, like I desperately want at all times in my life, <laughs> you can you can use this chat command. Again, it's in the description below, too. Um, but redeem, tell him, and then mm -hmm. I just need to tell him. And then he can't try to figure it out anymore. I might redeem this myself sometimes. <laughs> And you have a billion points because you run the channel. So exactly, you can, exactly. Yeah, you have infinite. Yes, exactly. In addition to that, um, uh, you can, since Paul does make choices, it is a choice-based game, you can mm -hmm. ask him to say he's sorry to you, just like we have sure. done in the other ones. So that one is still available here. You can redeem a, an apology from Paul. And, I mean, you can for me too, but what, what do I have to <laughs> apologize for? I'm perfect. So yeah. <laughs> it's just it's just Paul and his choices. Tina, can I throw out an idea? And this is like you, like I could say no to this live stream. You can say no to this idea live in front of everybody. Okay. Um, just a thought, just an idea. Okay. If people want an apology, like maybe I, maybe I didn't do anything, but something in their life happened and yes. they need an apology. For oh, that. I like that. Like if they, mm. I will apologize. I will take on that persona or something role and i will apologize on behalf of the situation so they can just I tell us the situation i like that i think uh we'll need to be careful <laughs> but yeah, i like it yeah, a lot you know, let's see how we yeah 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 i i really like that idea so so that is another maybe you're okay with paul's decisions but uh mm -hmm. you just feel like you need an apology in general right <laughs> um i'm i'm down yeah. i'm so down <laughs> Um, so I think we should get started. Yeah. I'm a little bit nervous and excited. Oh, uh, last thing. Cause you know, I keep having things to say. Um, there is a, there's three songs in here that do get a little copyright issue. So, uh, they're in the beginning of every chapter. So Paul has turned down the music right now. We're going to turn it back up. Don't worry. It's just the opening scene has like, you know, some montage music. So while you are listening or watching this picture, some montage, some like chill montage music in the background. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and real quick, I got to yeah. apologize. I got to let the cat in. So just give me one quick second. Do we already need an apology from Paul? Are we already. serious? Seriously, apologies from in. Paul. Oh okay. my God! Um, wow. I'm sorry, wow. Tina. <laughs> All right. You don't, don't even re you don't even have to redeem fifty points for that. I'm just offering apology. You just right you there. just apologized. <laughs> okay, let's do it. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, story based games. So uh, as you see those little icons, you'll okay. notice them when they go apart or when they go closer. And we'll kind of see okay. what happens there. Got it. Um, as usual, let us know if there's any audio levels that you'd like adjusted. It's hard for us to tell, but let us know on your side. But if you're hearing nothing right now, that's exactly what I'm hearing. Oh, so. I'm hearing some stuff. Oh, you are? Yeah, some some little Sorry. ambiences. Oh. oh, there we go. Is that a cookie? Do I get to eat the cookie? I'll be serious. You gotta be serious here. This is a serious moment. Okay. okay, got it. Sorry, Paul. No jokes. No, no, no jokes. You're right. You're right. You. I need to ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. 
can you tell me what happened tonight? I, I went to show her my haircut. She had a gun. She. Take your time. She freaked out. I. I. It's okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. My mom tried to kill me, so. So I stabbed her. Yeah. I killed my mother. That's rough. Welcome to Tell Me Why. Yeah. There, there oh, we man. go. Okay. Now, did you know any of that was a part of this, or had you? Did, were you already aware of that? I knew playing? nothing. Okay. All I know is that, like, on when you download it, there's a picture from the game where there's somebody just kind of holding out their arms like this and like looking up to the sky. So I know that happens at some point. Yeah. But I know nothing else. Yeah. Okay. So here's where you would yeah, imagine really, really um, contradictory, I suppose, um, montage music to what you just heard. So this is like chill, do to do to do type music, okay? okay? So imagine that here, we'll turn on the music right after this section. Okay, so we got a few different characters. Okay, a little, little coffee. Somebody's still using a, an alarm. <laughs> What year is, I don't know what year it, this it, it is. It came out in 2020. It came out in 2020. Okay. <laughs> Some people prefer the analog. I guess it's not even analog, is it? It's still digital. I'm not judging. You know what? I shouldn't. I'm not judging. I'm just like, you know, I don't see it very much. But yeah. it's great for it. It's great for a movie. You see them in movies all the time. Everybody's got analog and it's very clear. Yeah. You know, to show oh, I'm frustrated. I got to wake up. Yeah. For sure. So she's like, looks like she's practicing, like saying hi to someone. There's no dialogue or anything here. It's just oh, music. great, good because I can. Um, okay. Yeah, I no. She anything. so she's like practicing and and like seeming awkward. Um, they're both, you know, appear to be getting ready for something. You know, packing up, looking at lists, getting ready. Okay. I hate that we have to to not have music here, but again, there's it's just music, no dialogue. Picture of two kids. Yeah, Zachary, she's so awkward. Um, so true. Oh, Alaska. Okay. Chocolate snacks. Please give me water. Got it. Little bush, little <laughs> plant. Oh, I want to just pause that. Maybe we can look at it later. It does look like Ted the Bear. <laughs> <laughs> okay i think this is okay. where you can first i'm gonna find the keys to the old house then okay. i'm gonna drive to fireweed and i'm not going to freak out everything's fine all right so you can feel free to turn the music back on now Paul. <laughs> Oh, because great. it is okay. it is a little awkward. There's definitely atmospheric sounds. I wouldn't go all the way up though. I'd probably do it like um I'd probably go about a third of the way up cuz there's a lot of um yeah, I would just do like no, I, like only a third on. Oh, a so third. yeah, like that. Yeah, that, that okay. that's good. It I noticed the music overpowers some dialogue quite a lot in this game. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. See? <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Okay. Yeah. So I guess this is still a little bit of that song, but it's calming down. All right. So many choices. Where do I start? Uh, so she says she needs to find her keys. Mm -hmm. But you know me. I'm just, I can't get enough. I got to explore yeah. everything. Uh, I've taught you well. I can look at this artwork <laughs> all day. True. Okay. All right. Where are those keys? Why would it be in here? I don't know. She's like judging you for looking. <laughs> yeah, like geez. why would it be in here? <laughs> I played don't nod for other people's trauma, not to create my own. I don't really have time to dig through this right now. Okay. Got it. Well, your That's keys might be in there. Yeah. 
Oh, maybe. Oh, right. I stashed them down here. Okay, nice. <laughs> so that's where you've been hiding. Yay. You'll grow to love these. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, Danny Lee, th this is available for free on Game Pass right now. And that, in fact, is how Paul is playing. Great. <laughs> I think I'm ready to go now. You know what I'm surprised? Like, this game is only three episodes. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I was really surprised. I thought I thought Game Pass was only, like, giving me half the episodes and the no. other were, like, behind a paywall. But they're like, nope, it's only three. I was like, oh, that's, yeah. that's pretty short. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's still a, you know lengthy game but you know they're full episodes for sure but yeah shorter than the others for sure yeah because other life is well i know this isn't life is strange but the others were like six episodes or, or yeah am I i've got up? to make solid plans to see the geminids i wonder if tyler would want to go hey you want to freeze your ass off watching burning rocks fall through the sky yeah i might need to work on my sales pitch Why do I still have this? Every time I look at it, it reminds me of how very single I am. <laughs> so now look in the top left corner. When you push the down key, you can read what's um, on there. So you're going to need that a lot in this game. There's a lot of reading. OK. Uh, kind of covers up in, with her head, so oh well. Oh, oh, sorry. So Allison and Bobby, Dreams, Caribbean Dreams, Senior Prom 2012. Can I easily turn us off? Yes, I can. Okay, good. I'll easily turn us off when we're trying to read something all together. Um, oh, perfect. I wonder if Tyler will even recognize me. Last picture I sent was from the bleaching my hair at home phase. We all have that moment. Did you ever, did you ever bleach your hair, Tina? I've never bleached it. I, I've, I, you know, I did the blonde highlights uh, of the the two thousands that were mm. hot. <laughs> I unfortunately didn't go to a very good place and they looked green, not blonde. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, college I definitely had blonde more blonde hair. Um All right, nothing there. I guess I Can't I guess I literally we're gonna just go back. I should probably get rid of this. I mean, I can stream it anytime I want. But it makes me happy just to look at the box. Okay, so they really love stars and astronomy don't you now here I, to be I, to be fair the um they are in alaska so um we haven't really talked about that yet or you haven't discovered that yet but um it's i mean can you imagine the stars they got to be unreal so of course one you're more it. season that's true what am i even gonna do with myself when it's over get invested in the lives of real people <laughs> So um, just while you're exploring still, Zachary did redeem something. And for some reason, and I tested it earlier, the the um, the widget isn't working on here. So I'm going to have to redo that. But Zachary redeemed the just tell him for 200 points, not for anything right now, but for something in the future in case, mostly in case you're going to miss a collectible or something. So here's that original thing. So if you're going to miss a collectible, I will tell you. Now I will say, I don't remember where all of them are. I played it recently and I found all of them, but three just like naturally. So if there is one I know, um, I will well, definitely tell him. If you know of one that's nearby, tell Chelsea me in the chat too. Bleaching my hair at home okay. phase. All right. Uh, Police Chief Brown asked council to reconsider budget. Doc strike to begin this week. Mayoral, mayoral election candidate Tom Vecchi supports gun control money for local schools. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got some running for, runnings for office. There are a lot of things to look at around here. Yeah, there are. I can't believe we're going to go thing. back to the house. 
Michael and Tyler are so going to hit it off. Okay. Michael, Tyler. Interesting. No comments here. <laughs> it's going to be so crazy to see him after all these years. And remember, if you don't don't remember it, the earlier character we saw had the same picture or a similar picture, at least. I think it was the same one. Got it. Packing it That's up. right. That is right. Okay. I feel good. I feel like I... You feel oh, wait. Oh, Sorry. escape. <clears throat> the hockey stuff. I haven't practiced since high school. I'm probably super rusty. Okay. so awkward <laughs> and oh. that's exactly what zachary said too <laughs> yeah so Baby. i would read this okay um now notice you can go to the right to do additional pages um yeah. so Good for job. for the most part i will say when we read things um you know most of these are going to be sentimental emotional but sometimes they're okay. not so we'll keep that in mind in our delivery <laughs> Got it. I will read it completely straight. I won't put a character on it or anything. I'll just, I'll just read it completely. Uh, Dear Tyler, I know what you're thinking. A letter? Sorry, I, I can't help but read a little. Okay, why all, why all weird and formal? It's so, far, it's so hard for me to read just like without anything. Why all weird and formal? What's wrong with email? Well, I figured, hey, bro, just wanted to give my twin a shout before reuniting after ten years of swank juvie is more like letter territory. Okay, so Whatever. let's just let's just stop for a second and just uh okay. like like process what you said. So Allie is writing to him. She said like we haven't basically seen each other in 10 years and they're twins mm -hmm. and he mm -hmm. was in juvie. So just I just wanted to like, you know, make sure we were processing. I'm, I'm guessing in juvie for murdering mom. That is correct. That's my, so yeah. That's so, my hunch. Yes. So. Yep. And uh, you'll thank me when we're 90 and the machines have taken over and you still have something to read by candlelight. See, always thinking ahead. Anyway, I can't believe you'll be out for real in a few weeks. What? Amazing. I'm definitely going to be awkward when I see you. So please try not to notice. Okay. How's your last month going? Are you sad about leaving your mentees? I bet they're going to miss you. I got my tires replaced, so I'm all good to pick you up and you can save the snark when you see my ride, she's been through a lot and we can't all be car guys. Anyways, anyway, the veggies let me take the day off so we can go straight to the old house and get it ready for the sale and everything. Can't wait to never think about that place again. Oh, I really can't wait to see you. I don't know if I made that clear. Smiley face. Love you. Exclamation mark. Allison. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. They're twins. Okay. I can't believe I'm about to leave this room for the last time. Okay, I'm pretty much done here. Okay. I just need to grab my goblin, and I'm off. So now you get so to play as goblins. It's so cool. Because you played as Allison goblins. earlier. They're selling a house. Mm -hmm. Got it. Bottom dive to leave this behind, but the old house would probably collapse if I blasted this inside. I know most of these by heart at this point. Okay, Songs of Innocence, William Blake. The Transgender the Transgender Man's Guide to Health Healthy Masculinity and Shelter from the Flood. I wish I could have finished this before I left, but God, it was a slog. Wait, I can read the book? Oh no. Oh okay. god. I was like, wait, you can? <laughs> I was like, wow, that is an unlockable. And he's going places, and I'll be able to say I helped him on his way. Yeah, uh, so Fireweed Youth Center. Yeah, sorry, Fireweed Youth Center student art to show at Grindhouse. Tyler Ronan twenty matches young. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, so Tyler's yeah. basically this is Tyler. So that that's our name here as the character now, and mm -hmm. um, he's been a, like a mentor to all these people at at this place he's at called Fireweed. Hmm. 
Is there any way I can? No, that's someone else's problem now. Okay. Uh, shit, I gotta do tutoring. Help Perez with college admission essay. Call Dr. Beck. Uh, counseling sessions with Jeremy. Meet Aaron. Gardening program set up. Miscellaneous. Finish paperwork for Escape W2 and letter November 2nd. Something for Allison. Just in general. Okay. It's gotta do something. Just do something. Do anything. Man, I'm gonna miss that view. Hey, oh, yeah. little guy. You're going to be reunited hey. with your sister soon. Nice. Oh, Yay, you cool. got a collectible. I guess I'm totally nice. ready to go now. So, just so you know, go um, hit one of the... I can't remember which one. The this little small buttons on your controller. There we go, collectibles. Um, so now, here's all the collectibles you can have. If you um, mm. do X right now, you'll hear something. The crafty goblins are two cunning little thieves who live under the princess's house. They're always getting into mischief, but they have good hearts. Yeah, so for every collectible, you can also listen to kind of the backstory of them, which is pretty cool. Is this a reference to Life is Strange 2, where two brothers went on a journey? Um, no, I don't think so, actually, but that is a really good guess. <laughs> Trying. There's a reach. It's a real reach. Bye, Herbert. Sorry no. if I'm going too slow for everybody. I need to get here. my application hey, ready for next summer. Take your time. I'm loving it. Fire in the hole. You stay here. Educate the youngsters in classic cinema. A Quentin, a Quentin Babalino film. Okay gotta be a little bit different <laughs> testosterone refill okay weekly yeah and then yeah okay so this is 2015 it, it yeah the game was released in 2020 but yeah it seems to take place in 2015 okay okay i like it another letter there's serious letter to read. Hey, Aaron, you know, I'm bad at this, but just wanted to say you've been the best counselor in at risk yet redeemable youth. Ha ha. Uh -huh. Good one. Ha <laughs> ha. Thanks for putting up with me and helping in more ways than you know. I'll try to make it count outside fireweed. Survival is rebellion. Thanks, man. Tyler. So he really seems like he's had a good experience here, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Zachary. Oh. Uh -huh. Gonna miss these dum dums. Sorry to go slow. Tam, I hate that we can't redeem a pickup line. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Later, Tyler. Love you. Thank you. Best mentor. We'll miss you. Good luck. See you soon. You escaped. Via Condios. All right. Yeah, for us, that like is a, a lesser reach. Yeah. Um, as far as uh uh, your Life is Strange 2 reference. So le a lesser reach from Frusk is siblings reunited after one of them was in Juvie. There you go. Oh. <laughs> the actual characters of the game that you just met. <laughs> nice. I like it. It's good. I like good it. One. Makes sense. I like that we've been playing for 35 minutes and the furthest I've gotten is two people leaving their bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, we, we chatted. We chatted. That's true. So I guess, yeah, so I last, I, I take my time, 35 minutes just to get out. The scenery is beautiful in this game. You should watch the room. There you go. Let me do it. Oh. By the way, I'm super attracted to him. <laughs> I just wanted to put that out there. What are you doing? Why'd you throw it away? You're super. Into, you're super into this guy. S super attracted. Yes. Okay. Interesting. So my yeah, so you, my you. so my type for guys is um, brown hair, blue eyes, pretty boy with an edge. So that's pretty much. Hi, Tyler. <laughs> Hi. Got it. First time we see each other in ten years, and it's hi, Tyler. Oh. Sorry, I... It's fine, Allison. 
Hi is a good place to start. God, it's good to see you. <sighs> Likewise. You have anything else you need to get? Nope. This is it. My last ten years in a bag. Then we should get going. We just have time to make the morning ferry. You look good in that. Thanks. Yeah, you do. One of my mentees designed it. It's really good. Yeah, he's so incredibly talented. I got a couple of local coffee shops to hang his art. Tyler Ronan, shaping the leaders of tomorrow. Yep, we're screwed. <laughs> so, are you gonna miss anything about this place? All right, you gonna miss the food or the people, Paul? Now make your decision correctly. <laughs> I'm going to say people. I haven't once mentioned food. There's no <laughs> letters in there that mention food. Who's saying food? It's almost so ridiculous. I want to say food. <laughs> right? God, do you want to do it? I kind of do, but I'm going to say food. Okay. You no, can't. You can't. Food. Okay. <laughs> I'm say food. The sweet taste of overcooked halibut. Uh -huh. But seriously, yeah, okay. it, was it was a joke. That's for good. a while, you know. Oh. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I'm also really happy to never eat that halibut again. <laughs> we planning to drive to Delos Crossing or push? Ooh. You are welcome to walk. Nah, I'll take my chances. Need one last look or anything? Looked. Let's go. All right, CK approves of your choice, just so you know. Thank you, CK. Frusk. Belgian waffle versus bacon omelet. Thank you for the Life is Strange reference. Always appreciated. <laughs> He's going to miss all the baked beans. Yeah. Those are... Okay, so we have some debate. Zachary does yes. not really like his personality, though, as far as when we were talking about looks. Prefer Allie by far. Frusk, I oh, love this really? personality. I, I love awkward boys like Sean and Tyler. That stuff up. <laughs> oh, Wait, who doesn't like the personality? Week, they had Zachary. to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. Well, no also, way. Zachary, you have to remember, like, Someone Tina heard a commotion in the back of a delivery truck, so they no. so, up. She and the bear was there. Fat and happy so on a literal mountain of empty chip bags. <laughs> you go where the food is. Oh, I can relate to that. So then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. Oh, poor buddy. Shot in the ass just for getting the munchies. I How totally um, missed and forgot they, what that conversation's they, 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 about. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was too busy making common sense. Does anybody actually way. hear it? Let us know. Because I'm like, what? Yeah. Here's fine, Tyler. For now. And we just keep talking and ruin the oh, conversation even more. Up regulations on trophy hunting again? Ah, they weren't even driving. Higher bag limits, oh, and ground traps. That. Trickery. Even bringing back hibernation hunting. I'm well, not into those sunglasses. Off on killing right a killing sleeping animal. Yes. I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? Why are you smiling? I'm being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. Not yet. But at least I got the school part out of the way. Uh, they were talking about a bear People getting shot by hunters or something. Mossy said Zachary. Mossy says a bear eating an chips. From an online college that may have stolen my credit card number. You'll figure out what you want. You have time. How are you feeling? Like I'm about to drive straight into a whiteout and my fog lights are dead. So you can actually look around here too. You don't need to, but you can. Because it's pretty. What about you? Allison? Whoa. Zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry. I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me, on our way to Delos. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. I'm guessing things haven't changed much. You mean in Delos? Still the capital of East Jesus nowhere. Can't wait to get out of here. 
All right. So when you see that sign, you can hold that. But see, there's a timer that you can barely see. So if you don't make a selection, oh, yeah. it'll cancel it. So you're almost out of time. Quick, push it. Okay. Oh. Wait. Oh. <laughs> Was it really that bad? It's Pretty not required. Much. Just you know. But it could definitely have been worse. Like if you'd been tucked away in a center for troubled youth. Right. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Good. Good, good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and helping his clan organize a potlatch. Potlatch. I've never Is heard... That, what's a pot... Smoke yeah. coming out of yeah. Stonehouse? I'm assuming, like, a potluck. Guess someone finally bought that old shack. That, or the ghosts are cozying up by the fire. Think the new owners know it's totally haunted? I'm sure Tina did her best to keep them from figuring Tina. it out. At least mm -hmm. until the paperwork was signed. Ugh. That house always gave me the creeps. Those windows are like huge gawking eyes. Uh, you think people talk about our house this way? Probably. CK said, no, a bear got on the ferry, so they tranquilized so, it. Really going back there, huh? Situation. To Stonehouse? I mean, we're going home. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Think the house will sell? No interested buyers yet. Turns out people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. <laughs> At least it's got one hell of a view, unlike Juno. Hey, Juno has mountain views of plenty. It just also has people and fun. You still thinking you might be my roomie? Thinking about it. Hey, can I ask you a question? All right. Uh, yeah. CK says Shoot. potlatch. I was told. Well, hold on. <laughs> um, I mean. What was that? Oh, thank you. Um, CK says yeah. potlatch is a Native American ceremony, according <clears throat> to Google. Okay, so it's not like a potluck. So that was probably really insensitive. Oh. Um, there, there is a particular tribe that is represented here. Represented in this game too. Um, and I don't want to butcher the pronunciation, so I won't do it. Um, but they do talk about it later. So that, that checks okay. out there. Yeah. After you, well, graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago, you still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more, but it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just being an overly invested sister. Curious how you spent your time. Allison? Yeah? Spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. What Don't is say it? that then. <laughs> it's a gift. From Eddie. I know he's not your favorite person, but... I'm sorry, when you said Eddie, I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty, don't- And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. The Fireweed Administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It's a peace offering. Uh -oh. And you're the two most important people in my life. Yeah. Okay, I'm, yeah. I'm just, I don't know who wants to gamble right now. That thing is going in the water. <laughs> I'm just saying it. That just um, seems like a very dramatic move that's going to happen. Interesting so. that you should say that. Okay, that's go, what I'm saying. Go for it. That, uh, that yeah. feels like a cinematic thing to do. It, it, it could be. Could Please. be. For me. Oh. <laughs> he can't you. buy my forgiveness with some cheap-ass trinket. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift-giving means in Clinket culture and what it means to refuse one. Okay, so you don't you're you're running running out of time. So if you want to pause it to think about it, oh okay. No, I'm gonna say fine. <laughs> All right. Notice you got a symbol moving closer I mean, together. 
I'll take yeah. it, but I'm not going to wear it. Yeah, because really? I like my sister. Really? I'm going to be cool with it. Okay. Just so we're no clear. No throwing in the water for you. <laughs> this was for you, not Chief Brown. You know, you could call him Eddie. Or even... Mm, nope. Uncle? <laughs> Hard pass. There is a there is a lot going on. There's so from much the going on. At like, this game. Well, and that's what I'm saying. Like, there's a lot happening, but it's really subtle. That? Like, you have to pay attention and you have to like get into the mind of these characters. Like they yeah. just just they haven't seen each other in ten years since they were children. And when they see each other again, her brother's now her brother, not her sister. Whoa. Like there's so much. Yeah. No place like home. On top of the fact that he killed their mother, and like you know, like it's just there's, it's, and then it's the, a little it too the much. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. Uh, yes, completely. Sorry. Go ahead, and stop apologizing all the time. Okay, sorry. <sighs> Thanks. Okay, you can free roam now. That is Tyler. Okay, so it's okay that I'm stupid because I'm kind of confused on something. Totally, go for it. Yeah. Yep. We didn't okay. die in a fiery crash. Okay, I just need to ask for some clarifying yeah. points. Yeah. If, if I'm not supposed to know now, just tell me. Yep. I'm so, so Allison is transgender, correct? No, Tyler no. is. No, okay. Remember, we saw the okay. calendar that said testosterone. So he yeah. needs to do t take his testosterone shots weekly. We'll find out a That's... little bit more about that later like okay, as far that's as how he is was, in the process okay that's why i was so confused because i'm like well i thought allison had already transitioned right and that was like the awkwardness of seeing each other as well but i'm totally off i'm well, literally it's so, but it's the opposite okay. I, I, and that does, like so allison and tyler are yes. twins tyler yeah. you don't know the previous name yet but you know, nope. had a different name the last time they saw each other and they've written yeah. occasionally, but not much. They were really, um, really had to cut off the relationship because of Eddie, this police chief, but also apparently other people back that up as well. Um, and so there's the awkwardness of seeing them for the first time. Okay. And then okay. also like, you know that they're transitioning or transition. It is transitioning at this point. Um, okay. And like, that's, you know, it's strange, like to you know, to to like see that for the first time when it's compiled with the fact that you haven't seen your own twin in ten years. So like, there's a lot that that's what the awkwardness is. Um, but mostly it's because they haven't seen each other and some other things that you will discover. <laughs> so so here's the crazy thing: yeah. when I was going to this game, I thought somebody was transitioning into to a female oh okay so, so that was in your mind okay so that was in my mind so then when the pictures i was like oh both boys had long hair got it i was okay. like i was manufacturing this narrative to fit my assumption <laughs> right. this is so weird and right th this is yeah. so weird so when they ran into each other it was awkward but not for the reason i thought it was awkward it's awkward because uh tyler transitioned into Tyler. Okay. I got well, it. and, I got and then it. that's Come not on. the only reason it's awkward because there you'll see sure. there's a lot of acceptance around that between Allison and Tyler. But like it is just like you're seeing something different than you've seen before. Like it's not yes. like the last time you saw him it wasn't a him, looked totally different. But also because of the fact that they just haven't seen each other. How do you relate to another person? Like take the transgender thing out of it. Like it's just an awkward situation in general. Um, oh, and then again, 100%. like I said, like there's, there's other stuff too. That's, that's, you yeah. know, compiled onto this. Um, Zachary okay. actually I was said, so confused. I thought the same thing. Oh man, these, these, these comment graphics are killing me today. Um, so I thought the same thing as Paul, oh, okay. um, when I first played. So I was disappointed by how Allison's transition was unrealistic because yeah, agreed. Um, but then I understood and thought it was way, way more realistic than this. Yeah. Yeah, totally. So yeah, got it. In good company. Okay, honest. Okay, so Zachary, I I literally was thinking I was like, wow, Allison's transition is um like it must have been a, a long time ago because it's working. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly what I was thinking. So yeah, Zachary, like hundred percent. I was yeah. thinking the same thing. 
Yeah, so, jawline okay. removed, like, every, yeah, right now. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wow, okay, um, all right. So, okay, thank you. Thank you very much. That, And also, that makes a lot of sense why it was testosterone supplements. Yes. <laughs> to male. Didn't, yeah. even, didn't even put that one together, but it makes so much sense. Yeah. When you, if, if you ever look at them close to each other too, it's really cool yeah. that they, cause they're, they're identical twins. So they have mm -hmm. the exact same face and so many features, but you'll, you'll mm -hmm. notice that Tyler's jawline is more pronounced and some other, you know, obviously facial hair and things, but other more masculine qualities that the testosterone has helped bring out. Um, and it's just, it's cool to see how similar they are but they look like completely different genders. It's just, I, I, I like, I enjoy that comparison when those opportunities are there. Yeah, okay. There's so much going on, like just from the start of it. Okay, yeah. okay. All right, get to wander around. Yes. He took the ring. It's so weird being back on this boat. So yes, Frosk, I did say strange. I don't know what is going on with these. We're gonna have to adjust. Um, <laughs> We, oh, oh, and whale, when we saw the whale, one whale diner, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, who said that? That's a, Fresk that's a good always, pull. always down for the, the Life of Strange references. Dang, Fresk, that's next level. Yeah, very true, Zachary. Hmm. That's my response? Hmm. Huh. Huh. Hmm. Huh. Binoculars? Huh. <laughs> huh. In the don't nod writing room, we need something more. <laughs> what if he's looking and says, huh? Yeah, my theory is that like he's seeing this and is like, oh, oh, we can do, oh, oh. Okay. oh, there you go. Okay. Shoot plan in Atlanta moose with that? Good eye. I'm going to draw on a bull tag on this way. You got your license and tag on you? <laughs> Why, yes, officer. Everything's in order. Or are you really you know, a fine? serial killer? What do I hunt? Um, oh, uh, I prefer fishing. I fish, mostly. No shame in that. Anyway, you'll yeah. find there's lots of good fishing spots right here. If you know what to look for. Where are you headed? Uh, Delos Crossing. Same here. You from around here? Um, just visiting. Just in town for a few days. I see. Any relatives in the area uh, I don't I don't trust this guy just passing through like I said just passing through well however short it may be sure you'll appreciate your time it's a beautiful place this guy's got a creepy creepy yeah. delivery um, you got people here do you have people in Delos my folks a younger brother and a lot of friends Oh, no. Most people I know never moved on. I'm Alex, by the way. No, 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 Alex, Alex. Alex? No I don't want to associate Alex huh? with him. To George Gershwin. Um, Gershwin, the pianist. Folks are always asking for related, so I try to head it off in the past. Oh. Uh, what'd you say your name was? A lot of Gershwin heads out there who are like, are you? Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm just Tyler. Just call me Tyler. All right. Good to meet you, Tyler. Likewise, sir. Okay. Man, that guy's going to be trouble in the future. I don't like it. <laughs> Charming. Sign says, when everything else fails, try doing what the captain suggested. Okay. <laughs> Nothing else? I'll see you around town. Oh. I'm done talking to you. Yikes. Hey, Ooh, I heard okay. That. Oh, <laughs> you said yikes out loud. Oh, no. <laughs> you just look at someone's bumper sticker and go, yikes, when they're yikes. standing right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Beer is he, my sport. He's classy. Sure, six pack. Oh, no. I've never seen bumper stickers on a hood of a car. I, I haven't either. That That's interesting. This game oh, is man. full of surprises. Life is Strange references all over the place, like... The shovel is a Life is Strange Easter egg. Shovel equals digging up Rachel. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh my gosh. I can't. Okay. <laughs> I 
Oh, apparently you need to explore the boat some more. Oh, I, it says you can just do leave on the car. That's interesting. I haven't. Is there... uh, I think there's like some yeah. other choices you can do. Or uh, there is, I think toward out the back, you can like lean against and look at the scenery. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. Because it's just beautiful. Look at that beauty. I'm looking at it. Oh. How you doing? <laughs> Break me up a piece. That scenery. <laughs> Look at that chiseled scenery. Seriously. So it's so like fun. so uh I wanted to ask you a question. Oh there's a little gondola out oh, there. Just going down. Oh look at that. Wow That's an impressive level of detail. That is. Wow. Cool. It's like a little boat out there too. More. I like these little details. I like it. Oh my God, Brusk. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, you're you're. Oh no, there. nothing. I was gonna say we're already we're already there. We're already yeah, I think you could just click on the car too. But let's yeah. go. What did Frost say? Just some more references. Tina, did you just say bumper from the bumper sticker? Like, goodbye, cruel bumper. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think of it. I feel bad that I didn't think of it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel like Frusk is playing Life is Strange right now, just trying to pull like references. No, I I'm so I'm so with it. <laughs> <laughs> Good point too. What if you go off uh, out, away from your keyboard for ten hours with him just staring there? I bet there is a some sort of YouTube, you know, ten hours of Alaskan scenery with Tyler. I bet that's there somewhere. We should do it. We should do it. You should do it. That's pretty great. Now I have to. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, guys. You're writing this channel's content. Appreciate it. <laughs> Okay, here we go. So if it wasn't clear, she lives here. She's lived here from the very beginning. She never left. He's been away, hasn't been back in town at all since he was like 10 years old. And this is his first time back. There's the shot you saw, right? That's the shot. <laughs> And now everything. Now we've covered everything I know about this game. Yes. <laughs> Do you think you could live in Alaska? I don't think I could. I think. I I don't think I could accident. either. I'd like yeah. to visit though, but yeah, I don't think yeah. I live. And no electricity? Wow. That's crazy. It's basically exactly like I remember it. Only faded. Like a Polaroid left on a windowsill. From the outside, it almost looks charming. Charm's not the problem. Structural integrity may be an issue. You think there's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down? If someone buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. You wouldn't care at all? Would you? Sure. Everywhere I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Allison, we could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. The only way to get this done is to do it. All right. After you. All right. 
So again, they, they did mention this. They're basically getting the house ready to sell. Tina is the realtor. I feel like for the next game, the next part of the game, as we walk inside, it's going to be like a lot of Kleenex, uh, a lot of Kleenex moments. I feel like Maybe. it's going to be a lot of. Uh, did you smoke Maybe. something before you left Fireweed? The door is right there. There's that pressure from Allison again. Man, <laughs> she is so much on you. Judgment. Locked. Well, it's a good thing I remembered this. You sure that's the right key? Yes. Maybe Wait. someone changed the lock. But Allison lives there, right? Who would no. change the lock on us? Oh, she doesn't. Know. Okay. We're screwed. You got a plan B? Yeah. We find another way in. I never knew a locked door that could keep the crafty goblins out. Yeah. We had a million ways in and out of this old house. At least one of them's got to work. <laughs> Allison is such an anti-completionist. <laughs> That's so true. Crafty <laughs> goblins. I haven't thought about them in forever. Or should I say, us? We almost spend more time as goblins than we did as kids. They're gonna. Oh, you'll be you able to hear them the if other you walk characters? around too. The Moon Hag, the Ice King, the Old Bear. Most of them, I think. But the details are fuzzy. Hey, do you know what happened to the book with all the stories? No. No idea. But I'm sure it'll turn up when we clean this place out. Remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost? So remember when we played Edith Finch? Place and not, I was, or kiss the I was planet like, goodbye. Telling you to, or thinking it was something. I was confusing it with this game and this part. Like, remember you had to get into the house. You had to figure out a way to get in the house. I thought it was oh. this. And I had no idea when it when that wasn't what you did. I was so confused because I was like, no, I remember seeing this in my mind. No, it should be fine. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know you played this game so long ago. Uh, if we just get this board yeah. out of the way, I'd okay. probably squeeze through. So we need something to pry it off. Uh, uh, well, sounds like that's a in pretty good. I need to go on. We it need a screwdriver. Does. So, um, Zachary, if there's any point where you want me to officially redeem um, what you already, or officially tell Paul what you already redeemed, let me know. At least the shed's still um, standing. Otherwise, yep. if there's a collectible I'm nearby. Think about that's what, what might be for. living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh, yes. Let's deal with that later. Plenty else to do first. Man, you're right. She is an anti-completionist. <laughs> She's like, whatever, we'll do it some other time. Which is funny. It's funny that a game developer creates a character who encourages you just to move on. To not. <laughs> this, well, Alex in Life is Strange Your Colors does that too. Like the automatic, um, like, you know, helpful uh, dial internal dialogue like that games usually do if if like it's clear somebody doesn't know what they're doing but alex's yeah. character does it like all the time like before you even have a chance to like really try it's like i should probably go here like oh that drove me crazy that's so funny yeah okay should be something in here that'll work oh yeah probably that screwdriver hey i see a screwdriver there you go paul you no, are all killing this do is get inside you know Wait, just natural I, natural um, talent Feeling something strange. Uh -huh. Oh, hold our T to focus. So while you have to hold it while holding A, so keep holding it. Yeah. And don't leave this room until everything looks as clean as a whistle. Ugh. This is the millionth time I've gotten in trouble because of you, you and your big mouth. Hey, you were thinking the same thing. You just weren't brave enough to tell her. What good would it do? It's not like she ever listens to us anyway. Well, I'd rather scream it right in her stupid face than be a quiet little mouse. Oh, we forgot the key. We need to put it back. Maybe we could hide it somewhere. You know, for fun. Goblins are supposed to help the princess, not play mean tricks. Whatever. You're not fun. I'm only trying not to make her even worse. Okay, so well, a lot was just figured did that out. that just happen? I don't know. But I saw it too. It felt like it did when we used to share thoughts with our voice. It did. But that was a memory of us 10 years ago, right? I, I vaguely remember it happening. I think so. And uh, that's new, right? Yeah. 
We could share thoughts and feelings, but we never replayed memories like that. Hmm. Why would it happen? And why that memory? I don't know. It's pretty eerie. It's weird, but our voice was always a good thing. This could be too. I'm feeling something again. Near the barn. Yeah, me too. So, if you're on a controller, I think it starts to vibrate when you're close. Oh, there um, we go. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, so it's sometimes really hard to find them. It's a really interesting yeah. dynamic. Hurry! Let's go see the silent frog. Coming. I'm coming. What? Stop sulking. I told you already. I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> okay. Guess you don't want to see what I put in the treasure room then. What? No, I want to see. Huh. I guess we know where to search now. We just have to remember which one is the silent frog. Probably the one covering the map. So, which one Where's of you Gaston? is hiding the key? Hmm? Middle one. Will you be right? Damn, where's the key? Seriously? Kidding. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. Nice job keeping a secret, buddy. At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Oh, yeah, well, seriously, can you better imagine alive that 10 years later? Yeah. yeah. Hey, so let's so she was later. adopted by Eddie, the police chief. So it's not clear. Like, she would have lived there completely alone as a 10-year-old. So we assume that she moved uh -oh. in with him right away or or was, I don't know, in some type of a foster situation. Yeah. Okay, yeah, 100%. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Got it. All this for a screwdriver? <laughs> you got a better idea how to Gotta get in? Gotta play the game somehow. <laughs> what is birdseed? Yeah, I'll take it. Why not? Huh. Who left this box here? It looks brand new. It wasn't me. Has someone been out here recently? Mm. Guess it's your lucky day, bird friends. Oh, yeah, back here. Good. Oh, oh. There was another memory back there. Did you see that? Or, or did you push the, did you try to run? That's the thing. Is the, what you do to run in Life is Strange is the same trigger that you use to do um, the memory thing here. So it's really annoying, um, like when you push that. Yeah, so I thought that there was another one, but maybe not. Maybe you just pushed nope. that. Yeah, that was, yep. that was totally me. Yeah. Hitting. Can, I, can I go down here? You can, yeah. This feels like there's going to be more stuff down you here. You really want to go out there? Yeah. No, you're right. Oh, <laughs> Allison. She's controlling seriously. Me. <laughs> What's over here? A boat. I wonder if there are still fish in the lake. Uncle Eddie taught us to fish here. You still fish? Nope. You? Every Sunday morning. Once I could leave fireweed, of course. Alone? Totally. At first, it kind of made me crazy. And then I started to really like it. It was relaxing. Really? Yeah, you know. The lake, the water, the sky. Me, just a speck in the middle of it all. Mm -hmm. A speck with a spliff? <laughs> Always. Oh, how far can I go? Can you go in the water? Nope. Quit controlling the game. Give me some freedom. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Oh. Allison, every time you tell me not to do something or that I should do something, I'm gonna do the opposite. <laughs> yeah, Allison. I'm my own man. I'll do what I want. At least we don't have any use for this right now. <laughs> Remember the snowstorm in 2004? Marianne had us digging for hours. Of course. She was too proud to call another adult for help. Yep. 
Why do that when you've got free child labor? Yeah. Open sesame. Let me guess. Mm. It's locked. Yep. Right. Know any other secret passwords? Hmm. Let's no, but we can do the thing that we were originally going to do. <laughs> <laughs> that Paul takes 20 minutes to do one simple activity. No, you got to explore. I'm down. <laughs> I'm in, baby. Oh, so strong. Are you sure you want to go in there? This was our very first den, remember? Who knows what lives down there now? It's really interesting to um, like okay you gotta down there? look at the subtleties of their personalities now. Tyler? Mm. Through and throughout the game. Ah! <laughs> like Tyler's more adventurous. It's not and funny. Like he's more adventurous. Go. And but like he's the one that was sent away to juvie. You would imagine that he would have the opposite. Like mm. be uncomfortable right. to be at the house. Going in for real this time. She's been there the whole time, but has okay. such discomfort. See it's you just the like front door in a few minutes. It's really interesting. Yeah, that's true. Ow. Are you okay? That like hurt me. What happened? Not great. I just hit my head like an idiot. Wait. What? Where are you? Ty. I'm outside. But I can hear you in my head. Her voice. It's back. Holy shit. I, uh, don't suppose you remember how to get to the hatch? I, I think so. We'll figure Dragons, out. straight ahead. Need to go left, I think. Okay, I'm looking, Zachary. I feel like there's something down here to like find. There's, this feels like a. You are you are correct. There is there is a collectible to find down here. So we'll we'll see. Yeah. I'm surprised it's not this like little truck. That seems very collectible-y. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but I couldn't carry a truck with me. That's and left again so after the goblins. Can't really carry any of. <laughs> left again after the goblins is where to go to the uh, i also always forget what we're looking for here you're looking for a Ooh, hatch hello. there you go here wow oh, wait. no this isn't it. Anthony, i ever expected to see you again it's been a long time buddy hmm. just okay it, it's that... it, it's important later <laughs> but just oh, okay. note just note <laughs> So what you're actually looking for here is a hatch to go. So it's on the ceiling to go up into the house. But you're right. There is something else to find. So don't only look up. Okay. Nope. It was on the right. My bad. What about trash cans? I'm getting some road or open uh, road 96 vibes. Anything? in? Nope. Nothing. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, hello. Wait, that was our treasure? It's just trash. We could make treasure out of anything. Our imaginations were that powerful. Pink. It always had to be pink. <laughs> I found her old kite. <laughs> I think its wings have been clipped, though. Rest in peace, brave bird. <laughs> Marianne grilled us about all these missing dishes, but a goblin never gives up their treasure. I love it. Um, Masi, why are we looking at straight ass? I almost convinced myself. I don't myself have a problem with that. It's <laughs> just another child of fantasy. Me too. But we really are connected. Anything over here? Frost, Nothing. ugh, my, my annoying graphics issue. But wait, so we haven't seen each other for 10 years. Our interactions throughout the past hour and a half, like here, have been really awkward. It makes perfect sense that we could read each other's minds. <laughs> but I guess reading each other's minds is a proximity thing because 
once they're far enough away, like in jail or juvie, they're like, what? Yes. Can no longer read each other's minds? No, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Yeah. The Mad Hunter. Why am I still afraid to say his name? He was Marianne's creation. She made all the creepy characters. Who's this Marianne? Beware the Mad Hunter. So it's it isn't said, but you could you can sort of gather it. that is their mom. They refer to her oh. by name. Okay. <laughs> Mossy, <laughs> you weren't talking about Tyler's ass. You were talking about the elephant's ass. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> got it. I, I got excited. <laughs> you know, there's a, there's a delay. And so, it like, I saw it when I was looking at Tyler. You know, yeah, that's why. <laughs> There Wait, we so go. There is something... So there, but there is, yeah, there is a collectible down here. If you want to okay. find it, Zachary does yeah. want you know some help with that. So I mean, just go in different directions than you've gone before, um, and we okay. can save save Zachary's uh, points. Wait, what was I supposed to read? Oh, and it'll be on the ground somewhere. Okay. I feel like I went to most places. Maybe not over here. Oh, ha ho. There we go. Did not. You were right. Here. Nothing here. Of course I was. Oh, I was so close. There we go. Boom. You got the Mad Hunter. So oh, if you want to okay. learn more about it, yeah, to like understand it. Heck yeah. The Mad Hunter is a cruel and ruthless creature. Once he starts hunting someone, he never stops. He'll chase his prey to the ends of the earth if he needs to. No one can escape his piercing eye. Yeah. Hmm. So that's the mom made up all of the scary characters, they say. <laughs> Classic Tina. I got excited. So now we know that <laughs> Tina's constantly looking at Tyler's ass now. <laughs> Very classic. I'm surprised that nobody has drawn a correlation between the <clears throat> beanie Al Allison's wearing and Steph's beanie, though. That's a Life of Strange reference we haven't said out loud, so I'm going to right now. Oh, yeah, good call. We had the Wolf Brothers, and now we have the Goblin Twins. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, just pull up with those arms. Tyler, are you in there? Tyler! I'm coming. <laughs> no, but really. I like how they gave Tyler yes. uh, a chance to be alone in this space. Are you okay? Yeah. I'll live. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah, same here. So? Coming in or what? Just working up to it. Well, we're here. Here we are. So, how do we get started? We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and see what else this house might be trying to show us. Hmm. All right. Okay. 
feel like we have a lot of things to click. Wow. It doesn't seem real. Of course. No lights, no power. Oh, so they did have... Let's okay. not go in there until we absolutely have to. Okay. Yeah, they just do. Okay, so they did have electricity because... Yeah. Well, yeah, and... Yeah. Maybe not all. What was she open to do with all these jars? She used to barter for our clothes with homemade jam. She tried everything to make ends meet. Well, not everything. Ooh, this place needs some serious cleaning, or an exorcist. Probably both. String, glue, duct tape—the holy trinity of house repair. Marianne loved having something to fix. Hmm. Uh, I love fixing things. I love fixing things too. Header installs, swapping cams. Uh, those are car things. I was gonna right? say I have no idea what no. that means. <laughs> those are hot rod things. <laughs> well, keep up the car talk, and you'll fit right in around here. So, have you ever played in and not hit? the left control to actually say anything. Yeah, it, it does like, it completes it for you of like, you know, depending on the situation, like, oh, he's zoning out or yeah. tired or, you know, like something. I was like, yeah, yeah. Got it, it's okay. And we'll be rid of that too. We were so competitive about who measured taller. Like we actually had anything to do with it. And after <laughs> all that, it ended in a tie. Yeah, none of that crazy stretching I did made any difference. <laughs> I tried to bury this dress in the backyard, but Marianne caught me. It was a pretty dress. Yeah, well, we both know pretty was never my thing. <sighs> oh, he's so sleepy. What are we going to do with all her jewelry? Well, I'm certainly not going to wear it. Donation pile it is, then. Handmade soap. Still here after 10 years. Impressive. Gross. You could say that about the entire house. Wow, I forgot all about her weird concoctions. And how she was always testing them on us. Like we yeah. were lab rats. Hmm. We're finding out so many, so many things. What are we going to do with all her jewelry? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I'm that's the annoying part is it will repeat things. Politics, then. Yeah, I'm surprised it doesn't like take away yeah. that option. Like once you hear it. Yeah, it does that in conversations too when you talk to other people. Like, if you have four conversation options, mm -hmm. it doesn't go away if you asked them already. Mm. We should take down the creepy masks if we don't want to scare the buyers away. Oh, so now you don't want to scare someone with those masks. Are these authentic, Clinket? I doubt it. I'm surprised Marianne would buy fakes. That's the clan, ago. the local clan. Okay. Yo, what are you doing down there? What do you think I'm doing? Trying to figure out if anything in Marianne's mess is worth keeping. Any progress? Not really. What about you? Nope. What are you doing up there? <laughs> uh, gonna check out a room. No, no, we're I'm tired of her mess. Let's dig into ours. I was, right. you know, I should have done that one. It's time more to playful. mainline nostalgia. <laughs> no. Okay. Where'd you come from? Just a book. <laughs> a Tale of Two Swords. What about over here? Nothing, okay. Know this? This feels like home. Yeah. Whenever we asked for a TV, 
She'd just bring home a big stack of books. I think she did us a favor with that one. Mm, you may not agree when we start digging into the HBO back catalog. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Ugh, some of our old toys give me the creeps. Yeah, it's pretty creepy. <laughs> but very creative. Yeah. Tyler, do you copy? If we don't move fast, this whole thing is going to melt. Do you copy? Copy, Allison. Gonna get this thing moving soon. Don't want the Mad Hunter to catch us. Over. <laughs> the Mad Hunter. Oh, he still gives me the creeps. I wish I could forget about him. I feel like there's probably like a memory around here. Oh, I... did, did you just push uh, it? Or yeah, there you go. Yeah. Look at Look at you. <laughs> Oh, no, no. I'm just pushing, oh, pushing it, trying it. to look for one. No, it yeah, would show it... up on its own if there was something nearby. Um, okay. And then you would push it. Yeah, but it, it'll show up on its own. Look what gotcha. I found. Okay. What? Only our greatest creation, the Book of Goblins. Oh. <gasps> Seriously? It was in that chest the whole time? All these stories. I had ideas for so many more. Marianne wrote a lot of them. Yeah. It's one of the only times I remember her being at peace. Oh, wow. There's a lot in here. Yeah, remember when I said there's a lot of reading? <laughs> yeah. And you're, and you're just, you can also just go left to right. There's multiple pages in each story. So when you're tabbing, you're just tabbing per oh. story, but there's multiple okay. pages in each story. Yeah. See? Oh, my yeah. gosh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a lot. So you'll uh, notice. Where yeah. is it? You looking for something in particular? My diary. You never told me about it. Yeah. With the way Marianne was, I tried extra hard to keep it a secret. Marianne. Yeah, that day she found out about it. Here oh, you go. Oh, Here's the memory oh. you were searching for. Mom? Mom, where is it? What did you do with it? What now? I can't find my diary. I know you stole it. Give it back. Sweetie, whatever I do, it's just for your benefit. You read it, didn't you? You had no right to do that. I have the right to do whatever I need to protect my little girl. I'm not your girl. I hate you. You will always be my little girl. And no matter how hard you fight me, I'll fight twice as hard to keep you safe. <laughs> All right, I'm already crying. <laughs> I don't know how I never saw it coming. She told me right to my face. She was willing to hurt me, to keep me from transitioning. Tyler, there is no way you could have known she'd go that far. I want my diary back. Her room was the only place I didn't look. Okay, but do you need to get it, like, now? That diary was important to me, Allison. Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. Well, then let's go find it. Okay, so You think her, her room, room is still locked? It always was. I'm not looking forward to going in there. I know, but we'll have to eventually, and I need it back. Oh, oh memory. The Ice King finally caught the hag. His furious voice could be heard throughout the forest. For your wickedness, you will be eternally bound to the lake. What? No way. Quiet, let me finish. You will no longer be allowed to leave. Not even under a full moon. The moon hag was imprisoned in the lake, and she never again tried to escape. Hmm. 
and then the title. What do you think? Not bad, right? Uh, I guess that's okay. But I would have changed the end. What? No way! Ice King. I totally forgot about him. That's because it was dangerous to mention his name. He was too powerful. All these characters, so, like, as you're going toward the, the mom's room and stuff, like, just keep in mind, like, all these characters were created by mostly the mom um, and them as a family to, to like, represent what she was going through or things in her life or, you know. So as you're being introduced to these different characters, keep that in mind with, obviously, the, which will become clear to later, the mental health struggles that their mom was facing. And, and it's mm. an interesting way to sort through and explain or, or handle your situation, your feelings. Hold up. What? Remember this? Uh, unfortunately. You must solve my riddle to earn the right to enter the princess's sanctum. Nothing a good hard shove won't take care of. I mean, yes, we could brute force it, but it might be kind of fun to finally solve it, right? We have different definitions of the word fun. Okay, well, if we break it, we're just gonna have to fix it for the sale. So let's at least try not to. You have the Book of Goblins? Okay. Yep. Here we go. <laughs> Hand it over. Let's get reading. What are you looking for? The image on the door. It's making me think of a story from the book. One that Marianne wrote. You have a way better memory than me. Well, the Book of Goblins was my creation. And you'll never let anyone forget it. Here it is. The one about the princess's party. Give it a read. I think the symbols may represent something in the story. Okay. First ghost memories, now storybook puzzles. The one about what the princess's day. party. What a weird childhood. Touche. And so there's five options on each. There's yeah, they're all the same characters. So at um, the very at the very worst, <laughs> we can just go through 125 combinations. Sure. Or you can give up and Tyler can shove it. At the very, very sure. worst. <laughs> so um I think the hardest thing that so the princess's party is right there. That's the title. So everything so they say will give you yeah. sort of a clue of where to look. But sometimes okay. there's so many stories and it's so hard. Um, so the symbols on the door have to do with something in the book. Um, and okay. so reading it. Yeah. And and feel free to read in character for, for these because they're stories. <laughs> Got it. So I should sound like somebody reading a, a, reading a story. I'm reading a story. Um, the princess's party. Once upon a time in a deep and ancient forest, the princess was melancholy because it was the one year anniversary of when she had run away from home. Sensing her sadness, her forest friends showed up at her door. Oh, a door. Interesting. They, interesting. They were headed by the pelican, pious and attentive, and organized by the moose, stalwart and farsighted. The old bear was there with his claws so sharp as well as a big frog prattling away. Even the haughty muskrat, who mostly came out at night, had come. Now the keep in mind, if you, if you paid attention, those are the five symbols that are on the door, are those characters. So keep okay. that in mind. Yeah. So you've got an old bear, a muskrat, a moose, a frog, and a pelican. The bear invited her to ride on his back, promising no wolf would harry her path. And then the animals led her to a fairy glen where a fabulous party had been prepared. There was a buffet of seafood the pelican had served from her never-emptying beak. The air was filled with winking fairy lights. The moose had arranged after clouds filled the sky. And the, gregar the gregarious frog mixed up fizzing drinks. <laughs> Only the muskrat had done nothing in particular, mooching off everyone else's hard work. Okay, interesting. So you, so by the way, you don't necessarily have to read the whole thing to get the answers. Um, sometimes okay. it's right away, sometimes it's later. But just so you know, because this, you'll have to do this a lot. <laughs> Should I should I shut up now and, and no pay no I'm not I'm not saying anything in general but like it's also fair to like to put down the book look at the door decide what you think you know at any point in time too okay, okay. Um, yeah 
The princess had a very vague, or no, I'm sorry. A very the vague princess, time. Very vague time. The princess had a very good time at her party. Such a good time that she forgot to say thank you to any of her friends. Noticing this, the fairies devised a bit of mischief. When the princess went to open her gifts, she found three identical boxes at three? the edge of a glen. Three? three? Say Interesting. what? Hmm. The door also has three. Huh. Puzzled. Puzzled. As she Tyler would back say, and, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Puzzled, she turned back and gasped. The entire party had vanished. Because you've taken your friends for granted, called the naughty fairies, we have hidden them from you. But we like games. Guess who has given you each of these presents and you'll get your friends back? Wow. <laughs> the prince. Okay. The princess opened her first box. First inside. box. First, the first box. box? First box, inside there was a torch, which, when lit, revealed the truth. Truth? Hmm. First box, Tr truth? Truth. <laughs> <laughs> the truth, you say? Where the first box, truth? Okay. Okay. Hmm, said the princess. Someone wants to make sure I don't get lost in the woods when it's dark and that I always see right, right from wrong. Right from wrong? <laughs> right, left, okay. Which of my friends would give me a gift like that. And um, uh, her friends were well described earlier in the story. <laughs> true. If you, I'm, yeah. I'm sure you remembered that. <laughs> yes. The pelican was pious and attentive. The moose stalwart and far sighted. The old bear was there with his claws so sharp as well as the big frog prattling away. The muskrat, we don't give a shit about. Yeah, yeah. Lazy as hell. Um, the frog okay. was bartender. <laughs> okay, interesting. Um, so a torch, a torch. To be able so to here's see. my thing. I'm just going to talk it out loud. Might be wrong. Might be right. Don't know. I'm going to say the bear because the bear was the one who led a uh, road on the back and take her on the path and. The fire will help you on a path. So I'm going to say bear equals fire. Interesting choice. Maybe bear keep reading. Fire. <laughs> Got it. Grant, I understand when I'm wrong. I know. I know when I'm. <laughs> this is me redeeming my own. Tina, tell him. <laughs> I know when a woman says, oh, that's interesting. It means, look, Paul. Just you keep, keep way going. <laughs> She opened the second box. Inside, there was a magic sword, hmm. which would leap right out of the bear's hands and defend them. Defend? Said the princess. Defend? Like a bear? Like a like a wolf attacking a bear and the bear defending? Hmm, perhaps this is the bear. There's a bear somewhere. Someone wants to make sure I am protected, protected. if I'm ever under threat. threat. Which of my friends would give me a hmm. gift like that? Who would be a great protector? Gosh, a pelican? pelican. <laughs> she opened the third box. Inside, there was a bag of coins that always provided money. If it was something the bear truly needed, hmm, said the princess, someone who wants to make sure I have money to buy food when I'm hungry and clothes when I'm cold, which of my friends would give me a gift like that? Let's go to page four to find out more. <laughs> The princess thought about her friends, and then she smiled <laughs> certainly. Fairies, she said, I may have been thoughtless, but I appreciate all my friends have given me and all that they have done for me. She gave her answers, and the vexed fairies were forced to restore the party in a flash of colorful light. One by one, she gave the animals a hug and thanked them for their presence. She wasn't going to fuck it up this time. No, she the wasn't. Part and they all had done to help her since she'd moved into the forest. And that is how the princess celebrated her first anniversary in the woods. Now, Masi has done, done you a solid and put in the comments what each box represents. Um, oh, in I case haven't you looked. forgot. I've... So, um, it, well, meaning uh, like what to look for when you're looking at page one for the friends. Got so it. first box, Torch of Truth, to be able to see clearly. Second Got box, it. a defending sword. Third, magic money bag, you know, to provide oh, for you. Okay. Done. Dunzo. I got this. It's moose, bear, uh, pelican. Okay. Let's give it a shot. That's it. <laughs> Let's do it.
You're welcome. I got it. <laughs> I'm not making any faces this time, so we'll see. <laughs> um, wait, moose? Bear, you said. Yeah, so that's good. Are you sure you're going to be able to crack it? Uh, yeah, give me a second. I need more time. Jeez, I'm not stupid, Allison. I just started. Give me some time. Yeah. All right. Give me and some I'm time, here when Tina. you're ready to admit defeat. I mean, Allison. <laughs> <laughs> um, there we go. Oh, there we go. What did I say? Moose? Mm -hmm. What was the right answer I said? Yeah, you said moose, bear, pelican. Moose. A bear. The old pelly. <laughs> Already on the bear, so you're good there. Oh, Not, now you're, you're right. Not. Is. Nope. Wrong. I know. To I'm me, wrong. when I whenever I see that bear for the first time, it just looks like a neutral. Like it doesn't look like a bear in my brain for some reason. And Moose. then, the, as you said, the, the good old Pelly. The old Pelly. <laughs> what? I don't have time to say the word can. No. Oh! To ding. <laughs> look who just got into mom's room, baby. You did it. I did, did it. it. And I'll tell and you my boom. secret. We're in. When you said C, I was like, oh, Paul, don't be an idiot. That's farsighted. Moose. <laughs> you got it. So my secret is Tina. That's my oh. secret of success. Oh. I'll take it. <laughs> Wait, Wait, sorry. That we're we're been too happy. The whole time? We're too happy. Like, this is them oh, experiencing true. their mom's room for the first time. Let's take it down. <laughs> okay, get somber. That thing's been on for 10 years. That's insane. Yeah, I know. I was so many years. I expected this to feel more, you know, like a win. Yeah. I thought there's no electricity. What's happening? Speak I feel like yourself. it's on some sort of battery timer solved the riddle. and the batteries did not okay. corrode. <laughs> Why do I feel like you're not going to let me forget that? So I know you would, you, you have like a 15 with? minute stop idea. Um, yeah. We're close to where I would prefer to end. We're in this mess. We should ask right. someone yeah, else's we'll make personal it. thoughts. We'll do it. We'll get there. But there is still some stuff to do. So I would, you know, speed this room up a bit. <laughs> if you want to get there. <laughs> Sewing lessons were the absolute worst. If we go a little she over, that's okay. I don't want to okay. rush the game. I'm sure she know, needed the it's... help. And I, for one, am happy I can fix a torn seam. Like, I'm not going to lie, Tina. I'm already invested. Oh, wait. Good. Flashbacks, good, good. baby. Here we go. I just can't get through. Whatever's going on, they won't let me in. Ugh. They used to tell me everything, but they shut me out, Tessa. They've shut me out. I've had so much on my plate lately, and, and they're convinced I'm the enemy, and I don't know why. I need them. I need my goblins. I remember now. We heard her crying. We listened through the door. Seeing her like this, as if she's still here, it's... It really sucks. She was really coming apart those last few months, wasn't she? Oh, hello. Thank you. There you go. Found a collectible. Boom. She always had to have a picture of us close by. Why this picture, though? I mean, do you see the expression on our faces? Yeah, it is kind of an uh, an interesting, you know, out of yeah. all the pictures you could have. Hmm. Oh, this explains a lot. They're mostly full. She was too stubborn to take medication. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Remember, the reason he they wanted to come in here too was to look for his diary. <laughs> so that's their intention. Boom! It's here. Yeah. <laughs> we did. Good timing. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Do you think she read it? Of course. She was nosy as hell. Hmm. 
Oh. Raising your transgender child, that book said. And then also, Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. Which appears to be like a conversion therapy situation. Oh, wow. But that's kind of interesting. You don't know which one she's like leaning towards. Yep. Tyler. What? Look. Ooh, Tyler, you're going to have some you're going to yep. have some challenges yep. ahead of you. <laughs> what? Oh, Tyler. That's... Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. But it doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? She was mad I, I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was mad and she attacked you. We both saw it. Then what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. Tyler... Come here. I just want to hug them. Like she can't do this to me. Not now. When I've finally made sense of a few things. Yeah. Well, that was your first mistake. Thinking the world made any kind of sense. Ten years in the grave, and she's still finding new ways to piss us off. Yeah. I think I need some air. Oh man, that's... Right. You, you killed your mom and she was, oh boy. Yeah, if you're joining us late, the beginning, Tyler actually was arrested for killing the mom. Um, because at, at the time, assuming the way, how she responded to him was not okay with him cutting his hair, more will be revealed later. And, and she said that the mom pulled a gun on her, right? Yes. Here. Are you really, really sure? Oh, okay. I am. Do it. Okay. Interesting. Uh, here we go. <laughs> it's a real narrative break. This isn't normal. <laughs> Whoa. Is it all gone? Yeah. It, it looks amazing. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to show mom. She's been so sad lately. More than sad. She's been scary. Yeah, but not tonight though. It was almost like a party. Not a good sign. Allison. She's depressed and now she's like really up. Thank me. Not great. You're my sister. I feel more like like your brother. Brother, sister. We look out for each other. But I'm pretty sure I just gave you a really bad haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Be something really heartwarming, don't you think? Oh, no. God.
Mom? <gasps> oh no. No, 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 no. This is wrong. This is all wrong. Wait, stop. Okay. This isn't the exact point I wanted you to stop, but it's coming. <laughs> But, so that's, that's how that began. Okay. Glad we found your diary. Me too. I guess she was trying to figure out where you were at. Yeah, well, she should have asked. I wasn't some goddamn research project. I was her child. About the book. Raising your transgender child? Do you even know how rare these books were in 2005? Yeah, seriously. Was she trying to figure out how to support me? She would have had to go to great lengths to find that. Maybe. Which yeah. she In wasn't Alaska trying. Too? She right. never. It doesn't make sense. I know. You cutting your hair was what set her off, right? Allison, she read my diary. She already knew. It wasn't my hair. And if we were wrong about that. Fuck. You think she read it? It's possible she never even opened the diary and that things are exactly like we always thought they were. But if she did, and they aren't... God, Tyler. Sure. I mean, we could have been wrong. But what good does it do to ask the question now? You mean other than not having to live with the thought that my mom tried to kill me for being me? Tyler, I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll make it all make sense. But she was unhinged. So that's it, then. She was crazy. Nothing else to say. I think we'd be better off if we tried to move on. Why don't we Allison's talk to a few really people who knew her? Yes. See if that book makes any sense to them. People don't want to talk about Marianne. They pretend like that night never happened. Can I tell you my thought? Yeah. Um, well, I'll say in a second. What about Tessa? She was Marianne's closest friend. Let's ask her about it. Sure. But I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. Operative word was. Was. But we need to go by the store anyway to get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this. But you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. Yeah, something wrong. You've been on edge all day. Is there something more going on with you? It's nothing. Pretty sure it's not nothing. And I'd like us to be on the same page. I thought we were on the same page. Sell this place as quick as possible and move on. Uh, that book changed everything. And then we found the book and things changed. You really don't get that? It's just, with the way you avoided this place for the last three years, I thought you wouldn't want to spend any extra time here. Oh. So that's what this is about. Maybe a little. Yeah. It's just... You graduated three years ago. And this is the first time we've seen each other in person. Yeah, so he was only at Firewood for seven years, and they weren't allowed okay. to see each other then. The last three years, it was his choice. Okay. Um, I wasn't ready to come back. Weed. It's not that I didn't want to see you. I just wasn't ready to be Tyler in Delos Crossing. Yeah. I tried to visit you. I tried to go to your fireweed graduation. I wanted to bake you a crappy boxed cake and take awkwardly posed photos. I know. <laughs> but you shut me out. All I got was non-responses and half-assed evasions. Uh, I was hiding from everyone. Look, I didn't want to see oh, anyone. See that? 
closer together. I just started oh, testosterone. Good. And, oh, God. I had the worst acne. My emotions were all over the place and the smells. The smells. Allison, the smells. <laughs> men smell bad. I know. <laughs> I've dated a few. Look, I needed some time to figure my shit out before I asked anyone else to try. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Uh, we have a plan. Or we have a plan? So, we have a plan? Yeah. Yep. There we go. <laughs> we ask around about Marianne, but we also stick to our repair schedule. If that's really what you need. All right. Deal. Hmm. Okay. Polly's diary. Ollie. It's been a long time since I heard that name. So Was I the Ollie. only one who ever called you that? Actually, no. Oh, Ollie. I used it at Fireweed for a while oh. until I settled on Tyler. Got it. Most people were pretty chill about the switch. Not everyone, though. What do you mean? I had a mentee who refused to call me Tyler. Hmm. He didn't want my help. He didn't want anyone's help. I'm sorry. I like the name Tyler, by the way. Thanks. Um, so my, yeah, my thinking is that in it, I don't, there's no way to, way to know this is that the mom was going to off herself, um, okay. that she was really manic and high and I feel like she was probably going to off herself, but that's, that's my guess. Not a bad, I mean like that it's everything's up in the air everything they know is up in the air now so that is yeah. a very valid option for where the scenario could go yeah yeah i don't i don't know she just seemed very surprised not not like oh i get to i get to save myself the walk i can shoot my daughter here you know what yeah, i mean like i don't right. know that's my yeah, yeah surprise definitely was there and he took he was assuming that it was because of the hair, but now realized she had the diary, so she already knew before seeing the hair, and yeah. But who knows? Which, who knows? Which thematically, I'm going to say, kind of ties into the whole idea, and I feel like Don't Nod does a lot of this, is like, hey, you know what assumptions are? They will no, kill absolutely. everything. And, and so, go with that instinct. Yeah. I mean, it, you just never know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this part of the diary, uh, I don't think you can see it. My head's over it, so I'll read it. Um, mom and Allison argued again. At least I'm not the only one mom is screaming at now. Mom almost seemed jealous. We didn't tell her what we were planning to do in the forest. Allie thinks we should tell her about our voice. I think she knows already. Mom seemed really upset when I asked to join the hockey team. Like it's wrong for me to play a boys sport. I'm going to keep asking. I'll try again next week. She said no again. So I'm so mad, mad at her. Why does she always say no? Why doesn't she ever let me do what I want to do? Allison and I started writing a story. Well, Allison did. She didn't like it when I tried to change anything. Why can't one of the goblins be a boy goblin? Yeah. All right. So obviously there's more to the diary, but that's all we can see. Yeah. Oh, actually, you could turn the page and there is more. <laughs> I oh. forgot. <laughs> uh, okay, let's read. Oh. Saw Star Wars yesterday at Bobby's place. Luke was so great. But mom found out. We watched it and got so mad. She said it gl gloried war. Zion, okay. Zion. Uh, that was Saturday 5th of February 2005. Would mom be happier if I could do what she wanted me to? When she looks at me, she just doesn't see me. I wish I could show her. I wish I couldn't make I, I wish I could make her understand. I think she doesn't want to. Allison told me again that I was it was my fault mom got angry at us. She is such a suck up. Mom's barely said anything to us in a few days. Allie said she saw her throwing away pages from the book of goblins. Mm. And this is March first, two thousand five. Do this, do that. I'm sick of her voice, and I'm sick of that dumb name too. I'm Ollie the Goblin. Yeah, so in the chat, um, Masi says, I don't know if they ever show Tyler's birth name, only Ali and Tyler. And yeah, I agree. I don't, I haven't seen it if they do. Um, but mm. I'm guessing Olivia or something close to Ali. Um, yeah. Yeah. If you squint, you can almost forget Tello's Crossing's only a few miles away. I'm sure Marianne tried to. 
Can't blame her. We're headed there for supplies later. Are you ready for that? Yeah, but I was really enjoying a day without assholes. Just a little longer, and every day we'll be asshole free. That might be asking a lot. I could probably leave here. I don't. Okay. I don't know. I also think it's interesting Marianne was angry about war, like it glorifying war. At least the glacier's still there. You have to wonder just what kind of stories it could tell. You know, if it had a mouth. Remember the ice cave? I don't. What's the ice cave? Remember the ice cave? Tell us more about it. The old bear's den? That's the one. Dish. It would have made a perfect secret base if we'd ever been able to find it again. You know, I actually went looking for it a few years ago. Really? No way. So? We found it, but the entrance had collapsed. Ah, bummer. Hmm. Not a bad view, right? I forgot how beautiful it is. Oh, that time we crossed. Remember that scary. time we tried to cross the lake after it froze over? So scary. Oh yeah, how can I forget? Marianne lectured us for an hour. Well, she wasn't wrong, at least. It was really dangerous. If we'd fallen in, no more goblins. <laughs> we grew up on this lake. We know how to spot thin ice. More things to look at. I think I'd like to end up somewhere like this, just not here. Somewhere with more trees than people? Exactly. Just go into it with a little more of a plan than Marianne did. Uh, oh, I could be a ranger. Already working on it. With my Hi, degree, ranger. it'll be easy mm. to get a job as a ranger. <laughs> After you spend a little time in Juno? Uh, still a maybe on that she one. She knows where she's moving, and she's trying to convince him to move in with her. Ah, uh, got it, got it. Okay. So I think you can just leave. I Maybe you... Um, I think if I if, do, if Maybe I talk, talk with well, the same? oh, there guess we go. better okay. get going. Okay. Here, I thought there you'd never tear yourself away. Crack the mystery. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Views like this, I just tend to get lost in them. Mm -hmm. well, go ahead. I'll catch up. Need to respond to a message. Uh huh. My sister, the social butterfly. Seems we got a trespasser. <laughs> what the fuck? You got five seconds to talk me into defending my property. Your property? Five. Four. Oh, I'm Tyler. No, no, any Tyler's. Three. Oh, no. Two. Sam. Ellie? What are you doing out here, girl? This is our house. Was I talking to you? Sam, put the gun down. This is Tyler, my brother. Wait, wait a second. Brother? Your brother? Oh, shit. Huh. I guess I heard about all that, but I never... Never thought I'd be such a piece of ass. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> you look like a real man. It's pretty much what he's so saying. You, Sam. you know what I mean. I just didn't know they could make a woman look so much like a man. I am a man. I'm just me. I'm just me. You know, I'm just trying to be me. It's just who I am. Hmm. Well, I've seen a couple of lady transvestites on the oh. team before. Nope. Uh, well, I've never seen a dude. Sam, that's not how you say that. Say what? Transvestites? Yes, it's transgender, transgender men. Uh, I'm sorry. It's hard to keep track out here in Delos Crossing. <laughs> the world's just moving on without us. But this is what I mean about how like it's real. It's fine. Like it's not like it's ew, a, you're okay. gross. I'm a stereotype. Yeah, it it's like me. I'm saying words that, that aren't the right words. Thanks. I'm uncomfortable, yeah. but I'm trying. Like, yeah, that's the majority of the people in the world. So Even if they disagree with what whatever, that's exactly? how they're going to yeah. act. Oh, so I, I, nice. I appreciate that. I've been kind of keeping an eye on this place for you. you know? Yeah, I agree with you. Patching the roof, checking the pipes, and all that stuff. Thank you, Sam. Oh, yeah. yeah it's, uh, that's no big deal. I just, you know, your mama, she was, uh, she was a special lady. She deserved much better than, you know, uh, what you got. Ouch. Didn't you used to help Mary Ann with repairs and building projects? Oh, yeah. You know I mean? Yeah, seeing as your mom had never had a man around, I just 
I took it on myself to help her keep this place standing. How antiquated of you. <laughs> Thanks. I uh, you guess your team's man. still aiming to sell the place? That's the plan. Which, by the way, we need your keys. Since apparently you went and changed the locks? Oh yeah, absolutely. But, uh, selling your mother's house? Are you sure? Bad or good? It's all you've got left of her. Uh, no one I've, asked I've, you! <laughs> yeah, a few bad memories, too. Not all. I'm sure the gun she tried to kill us with is still somewhere in there. Tyler! What? Oh. Well, that was pretty... That was pretty rough. Yeah. What Tyler means is, a fresh start is what we both need. Of course. Oh. This place has got to be full of all kinds of bad memories. But maybe some good ones, too? So I'm actually thinking where I want to get to is a little bit further out than I thought. So just keep in mind, like, we can stop whenever you're ready here. So, um, yeah. We okay. should so this is sort of a new thing that you can do. What do you think we'll get out of him? Um, let's, I have more questions. Mm, I guess I could ask him a few more questions. Okay. Um, You'll be able to ask both. Okay. How well did you know her? <sighs> Not as well as I thought. When I heard what happened that night, well, I figured people were bullshitting me. It really surprised you, didn't it? Much as anything ever has. Other folks say they saw it coming. <sighs> Let me. So you don't have to do the holding thing, yeah. Gotcha. Did you help with her door? Her door? The puzzle on her bedroom door. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You two kept sneaking in, giving her no privacy, huh? You ever solve it? Yep. Better late than never, I guess. Never solved it myself. I mean, not that I wanted to. I, I, uh, <laughs> so, uh, I guess you know all your mama's secrets now, huh? Well, she may have one or two left. So, at this uh, point, those are the only questions to ask. So now you can hold the RT and then we should go. <laughs> that's, that's all you do. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of funny. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? It's all yes. the questions. <laughs> uh, no, oh, he's too wasted. Yeah. He's too wasted to be of any more help. I'll tell him to get a move on then. Get well, a move on. We've got a supply run to make, and Uncle Eddie's expecting a visit. So. All right. Yeah, of course. Uh, get going, you two. Give us the keys now. Um, Sam? We all got to get going. <laughs> oh, uh, of course. Of course, yeah, I got lots to do myself. I, lots of to-dos on old Sam's list. And sure. you don't want to keep Brown waiting, you know? <laughs> Thanks for looking out for this place. Happy to do it. I uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Anything at all. You hear? Sam? Huh? Uh, Sam? Huh? The keys? Oh, yeah, of course. Of course, yeah, they're, they're yours. I, uh, this guy's out uh, of his... uh, This place, it meant a lot to your mother. It almost felt like it was a part of her, and, and it's like some part of her is alive here still. Hopefully the house doesn't turn out to be a murderous psycho that tries to kill us in our sleep, huh? Wow, Tyler. Yep. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> yeah. take care of yourself. Uh, take care of yourself. Both of you. 
Okay, actually, I think the thing I was thinking about okay, so that was going to take really longer is in the next episode, so we're good. Okay. Okay, go on. I'll be right behind you. This, this should be in here. Well, never mind. <laughs> I thought we were going to get one more cutscene. <laughs> I think this is a great place to stop. This is this is a good. Is this transition. the end of chapter one? Yeah. So no, it isn't. Um, but you can back out of this into the menu, and you will have saved your last your last. Okay. So this is this is basically the halfway point, but in chapter one. So. Oh wow, that's a long. Okay, that's a long yeah. chapter. Yeah, they're they're about the same length as Life is Strange, which I know oh. we took between three and a half and four and a half hours per chapter. <laughs> So it, it tracks. It tracks. Okay. <laughs> we take so long. We do. And that one had five chapters. All those have five chapters too. Oh my no. gosh. Okay. Yeah. No, but I, sorry. I apologize. I thought there was one more cutscene after that. That must come later. So, um, yeah. But I think that was a good place to stop. So now what what's happening next is that they're going into town. They're talking to someone named Tessa. We heard the mom okay. talking to Tessa on the phone during that memory. Um, to okay. find out if they can learn a little bit more because obviously the mom's contemplating or they don't know what the mom was contemplating. So um, this is a good segue into the next uh, the next part of chapter one. But okay. uh, yeah, I mean, we've talked about it a little bit, but what do you think so far? I like it. Uh, it's it's heavy. Yeah. I like it. Um, so this might sound strange, but one strange. thing I kind of... <laughs> I, had to, I had to do it. Uh, one thing I admire is that it's from a mother's perspective. Like, I feel like it would be very, um, not stereotypical, but I feel yeah. like I more often see, like, a man be like, what? My well, daughter wants to yeah, change? Right. Yeah, um, like, that's that's, like... Obviously not the only way it happens, but like, yeah, that's very more typical of what you'd see in media or like portrayals. Yeah. Yeah. Agree. A hundred percent. Yeah. Not, not the only way it happens for sure. I like that it's from a different perspective. Yep. Um, yeah. yeah. And, and similar it's, with like the dialogue, like with Sam, like I was saying earlier with, you know, it's not like Tyler, what the hell? Is, you're a, that's, you know, like, it's not like that. It's just very it's real, even though there's discomfort and, and saying the wrong things and everything. And, um, you know, that guy in the boat that you didn't trust. Um, so mm -hmm. you didn't tell him if you told him your full name there, yeah. he, he does something similar where it's clearly that guy doesn't approve, right? Like you would okay. imagine, but he's like Ronan, like, Ron and then he's like, Oh, okay. Got like, it. you know, just kind of does that. And it's like, they talk a little bit, but like, it's not, it's not like that's disgusting or, you know, like stuff that you would unfortunately see in a lot of portrayal, especially the, because this is taking place in 2015 and created earlier. There was even yeah. less tolerance than there is just in these last few years. Um, so I really appreciate that about the way that they wrote this story and the dialogue. I think it's great. Yeah. I think it's interesting. They chose Alaska. I, I do feel like, I mean, at least everything I hear about Alaska, it's like, Hey, everybody's kind of like you do you up yeah. there like we're not really going to get in your business and we're not going to like just kind of do your thing and uh and i'm like yeah i don't know I, it's really interesting i like it yeah. how i like it it's interesting it's complex there's a lot going on i honestly don't know how i feel about the flashback oh. that's fleshing out okay the event how come what, um, what are you yeah I, I feel like one of the strengths of this game is your limited perspective. Okay. Um, based from your, like, 
um, Leeds point of view. Mm -hmm. So, and I mean, I don't, I mean, but I mean, having said that, I know like, obviously the flashback is they're living through this moment, but um, I feel like the, the game, at least all the, all the life is strange is I know it's not life is strange, but you got to have the comparison. Um, I feel like you're always kind of from the viewpoint in the moment of that person that is your main like protagonist. Yeah. And I feel like when you flash back um, and it's really minor, it's really Mm -hmm. minor. And it's not like I dislike the game because of it, but it's just minor. Like that moment that uh, Ollie runs out of the, uh, her mom's loading the gun. Yeah. And the, the Ollie runs out. She wouldn't see the mom's face. That's very true. Right. And I'm like, well, that's so, kind of for me a break. And it's like, oh, now there's like an overarching, almost like God presence watching everything. And that's who I am. And I'm like, yeah, I don't like that as much as the typical, like, I see what this person sees. No, I think that makes sense. I think, though, um, that you're wrong. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I think, <laughs> <laughs> I think that if you look at it this way, this is the way I look at that is this is their construction of what happened. And so they have ideas about what's happening that may or may not be right. And that to me, that's what like the memory is. And you'll see throughout too, um, actually when they go into the town, you'll see the first Mm -hmm. time time this happens, they have different memories of the same situation. And you actually, and this happens throughout, you actually have to pick which one you want to go with, like whose memory is right. And so there's a theme of, your memories in childhood are going to be not, you know, it's his, hers or the truth situation. Um, and so that, that's a general theme. So I, to me, the flashbacks feel like that as it's okay. their construction of what happened. But I mean, I don't, but I think you're right. Like it, I, I get what you're saying. And, um, but yeah, if you can well, look at it through that lens, I think that'll help. Mm-hmm. Well, see, I'd also say I would much more appreciate, excuse me. Uh, I would much rather appreciate if the like, for instance, when they were in the bedroom and saw the mom on the phone, mm-hmm. I I don't know how that would happen because they did mention at the end, like, hey, we heard mom crying. We heard it. Listen. That one bothered me too. Yeah. But but again, yeah, it's like, like them imagining what she's doing. Is it like yeah, I think which, how you have to take it? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, no, which I think is interesting. I think I don't know if I were a, a director in this, so don't not, I'm available. Yeah, um, me too. I would have the memory of the kids outside the door. The door. Yeah, and I because agree. Because that's, that's what they experienced. And then we're in there. We, like them, have to imagine what's happening yeah. inside, but we can hear it. But that's just me. Yeah, that's no, I me. totally agree. That that one definitely I didn't like. Um, I, and I, I felt that way, too, when I first saw it, too. Um mm. It is an interesting choice, but I think, it, you know, again, like putting into the collective that the entire game is about distortion of memories and what's real, what's not thinking about our childhood. What do you remember? There's a lot mm-hmm. of nostalgia and like Tyler walks in and has all these like is like flooded with like happiness and, and says this is like where we had adventures together. Mm-hmm. And clearly where it's revealing that it was a very difficult and traumatic childhood. And so I think there's just a general theme of how our memories are distorted, you know, based on what we, and it goes in the opposite way too, of like remembering things more harsh than they actually were. Um, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, that theme will, will come out more in the game, but yeah, I think sometimes those things are, are more for narrative purposes, <laughs> like, like you're saying, which takes you out of it a little bit. Yeah. And I liked it too. Like the guy they ran into, was it Sam? Yeah. Is that the guy they ran into? Yeah, Sam was even like, wow, I was really shocked. I thought I knew who she was, and yeah. I guess I didn't. And I'm like, yeah, great. Yeah. I like that. I like the fact that we're all kind of like, we're all kind of fragile creatures, and our memories are, you know, subject to, yeah, you know, you know, coloring and not necessarily the truth. So. Right. And, and everyone has different perspective of the same person. Like, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, Zachary is saying, um, I feel like this – Comment's going to get all jacked up again. Um, yep, I'm right. Um, I feel like there was 
Um, hold on, I'll read it from here. I feel like there's really something off about the supernatural part in the story in general and tell me why. And Twin Mirror, I, I saw earlier, I think CK asked or somebody asked if I'd played it before. And yes, I have. Um, that I played on my own and I'll put, um, I'll upload it at some point. Um, and kind of failed the thing they did so good in Life is Strange 1 or 2. Yeah, I and I, I kind of wonder, it's like, did they want a supernatural ability and, and create a supernatural ability like Life is Strange? Or is that really a Life is Strange thing and they just wanted mm -hmm. an extra cool thing that happened? Um, but because it's so similar to a Life is Strange story and the way it looks and feels, are we trying to make it the same? Like if Life is Strange didn't exist, would we think something was off about it? I don't know. Yeah. You know? This is, I, I wish I was a fly on the wall when they were writing this game because- yes. I wonder if some of the writers are like, well, let's get away from Life is Strange and tell a completely new narrative. Yeah. And like maybe the producers or something were like, hey, that's great writers, but we're also don't nod. So people expect some supernaturally element. Right, right. And they're like, oh, OK, let's use the most tame supernatural one. Just kind of the memory, you know, the voice thing. Because. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Like, it's real interesting. Like. I wonder it, if anybody's talked or given an interview about like the decision they made about that. And Twin Mirror too. I feel like that came out first, but I don't know. Twin Mirror also works with memory and reconstruction and things like that too. So I'm, I'd be okay. curious to know the timeline of when these games were created. But yeah. Um, yeah. Have, have stuff, you though. watched the trailer? Don't not just said a new game what? of theirs is coming out in June, but I so, haven't seen the trailer. of it. A lot of games that they do are now like for devices. I, I don't have like they're either app games or like mm -hmm. just on switch or something. Um, okay. So I kind of stopped. I'm actually like, wait, what? I don't remember seeing that in their discord. <laughs> like, so now I'm excited. I'm going to go look. Um, but yeah, it might be because of that. Um, no, I'll, look right I'll, now? I'll do. Hey, Sure. I'm going to look too. Does anyone else know I don't anything? Brag. I got the internet. I don't want to brag. I'm looking too. Um, uh, it's called Harmony, The Fall of Reverie. I don't know about this. What? The Fall of Reverie coming what? this June. Discover the what? game. Um, In the very near future, when Polly returns home after a few years abroad to look for her missing mother, she quickly realizes that her hometown has drastically changed. Mm. A mega corporation named MK is using its power to control the population and her community is in danger. She soon discovers that she has a gift of clairvoyance. Oh, okay. power. Here we go. That connects her to reverie, the realm of aspirations of, wait, the realm of the aspirations of humanity, glory, bliss, power, chaos, bond, and truth. In this world, Polly becomes Harmony, a goddess, who has the power to choose the aspiration that will ultimately rule over Ooh, reverie and re restore the delicate balance between deity world and ours. The fate of humanity is at stake to which destiny do you aspire? So they've been doing um, like not, I'm not going to explain this, right? They've been doing a lot of games where it's not like this type of graphics that we're used to for like Life is Strange games. Like it's mm -hmm. more um, two dimensional or, you know, like um, now the, the words escaping me, but where it's, it's not like your, um, I mean, I wouldn't consider this an open world game either, but you know, where it's less open world than these ones are. Um, so okay. I'm guessing it's similar to that. But uh, as far as the story goes, and I'm looking at the pictures, this looks great. I'm excited. Yeah. Okay. It's not I'll, far away. June. I want to watch the trailer it's... and yeah, react to that. Hey, Icy Lantern, you um, we're we're finishing up now, unfortunately, but I'm glad that you're here. And thank you for for uh, sending yeah, props for the, the quiz. I'm glad you liked it. Who did you get? Who'd you get? I want to know who you got the first time, at least, that played. Um Oh, Masi, oh. yeah. Visual novel. It's got a very visual novel Thank vibes you. to it. Thank you. That's, yeah. So there's that. They've been doing some of that. And then they've been doing some other two-dimensional type stuff. Um, okay. I've only played their games that are similar to this. So Life is Strange, Tell Me Why, and Twin Mirror. I haven't played anything other than that yet. Um, and I okay. know there's a lot more out there. So I'm excited to dig into them if I have access to them, of course. And I don't know yeah. about Banishers. That's another one I don't know. Um, and yeah, I've never played Gerda. 
Yeah, I haven't either. Um, Fresk, Typhon? Why are, why are we bringing up Typhon <laughs> at this time? Did one of us say something about it? I'm scared. I don't know. No, did we mention mining? I don't remember. <laughs> anyway. But Icy Lantern, Icy Lantern, <laughs> yeah. you should come back next week. We we jump in, play every every week. Yes, so. we are here every Wednesday. Um, typically, it's a later time than we started today. Um, I'm guessing we might be later next week, but if we can get earlier, we will do that. Um, I know it's mm -hmm. a lot easier for a lot of you. Um, so fingers crossed. Um, yeah, I I haven't played Remember yet. It's their first game. Um, yeah, mm. I, I, that's one I want to check out too. So, oh, Mega Corporation. Got it. That's where Typhon came from. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. <not sure>. Awesome. <laughs> um, well, Paul, as usual, thank you so much. Um, yeah. Oh, sorry. Just great. Hit my microphone. Um, uh, I'm happy to have you back for more emotional trauma next week. <laughs> Thanks. Looking forward to it. Yeah. And um, if we need a break, you know, after a few, we could always, you know, do some 10 dates again to break it up or we could just <laughs> dive into the emotions um, and, you know, just feel everything. All of our past traumas coming out in this video. I, I cried three times during this one already and I've played this a bunch of times. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They had, they had those moments. They had those moments where I'm like, oh, yeah, this, yeah. this, this gets you in the feels. Yeah, absolutely. Um, love you too, Masi. Love you, everybody. Thank you so much. Such fun time with all you as, as always. So we will see you next week. See you guys. Bye, everyone.